The National Treasury was today put to task over anomalies of over 160 billion shillings external debt repayment for the past three financial years. The Auditor General raised a red flag over the repayment with concerns of budgeted corruption. As our very own Emmanuel Toe now reports, the Auditor General's report also reported or pointed out to possible plunder and wastage of public resources, endorsed exposed lack of documentation uh, for some of the projects, and what they termed as corruption in the first place. Take a listen. The Auditor General Nancy Gadungu in the special audit report on the debt servicing of external loans in Kenya for the past three financial years raised pertinent questions on expenditure amounting to 161 billion shillings in unclear debt repayment. The Auditor General disclosing to the National Assembly Public Debt and Privatization Committee of the National Treasury's variance in budgeted, approved and actual debt services for the financial years 2020 to 2021, 2021 to 2022 and 2022 to 2023, saying the variances went above the 5% allowed by the law, hitting 10% of the amounts approved. In the financial year 2020 to 2021 and 2021 to 2022, the repayments were less than the control of budget approved amounts by 1.4 billion shillings and a staggering 83.3 billion shillings respectively as the National Treasury underpaid on the amount allocated by the control of budget. However, in the preceding financial year, the National Treasury went over and beyond the approved amount by a whooping 77 billion shillings. This could be a, a mischief for corruption. If your budget is, in fact, the, the PRM mark is very clear. You don't procure services and goods beyond your budget. Our position is that the, these variances are, are high and they sh they, 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 if they are doing the budgeting process, it should be obtained on the fact that they are also forecasting accurately so that the variances are not uh, as big as we are seeing uh, there, Chair. The Treasury is saying the fluctuations were caused by the exchange rates of the Kenyan shilling against other currencies. Have you satisfied yourself with that? On that day, this is was how much was approved, and then there was such, that huge depreciation again, 77 billion out of 311 billion. It's a huge percentage. And even so, the auditor general says she could not get all the required documents to put the borrowed monies to specific projects. The audit revealed that out of the 32 sampled project loans, only 18 projects had undergone feasibility studies to ascertain their need. At the same time, the audit established that 22 out of the 32 sampled project loans did not have documentations or evidence to support public participation, leading to projects which did not have the public's input. A majority of the project loans also did not have approvals, exposing the projects to the risk of double financing and incurrence of costs outside the budget. The audit also revealed that only five out of the 32 project loans had legal opinions from the Attorney General. Emmanuel Toh, Citizen TV, Nairobi.